This week's Extra Life on F5 Live is probably powered by EXA. EXA brings the latest technology to gamers, offering the most immersive products for the ultimate gaming experience. With headphones, including ENC Tech, the latest in Bluetooth 5.0, 7.1 surround sound, plus extra features like dual mics and low latency, uh, everyone can enjoy a sensational gaming experience. They've got headsets for Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and PC. Plus, most importantly, they won't break the bank. Learn more about the headsets that are available and any current promotions by going to f5live.tv slash exa. This week, Sony announced a feature that most gamers would be okay with, um, if not uh, uninterested in general, because it's not particularly new or exciting. They are calling it um, PlayStation Stars. Essentially, it is um, Nintendo Points or um, Microsoft Points for Microsoft Rewards. Um, basically, you're going to get points and uh, some other things for completing challenges, doing normal tasks, playing games, things like that. It works exactly the same as you would expect on Nintendo and Xbox. But <laughs> Sony used two words that they probably shouldn't have used because of uh, their connotations. And those two words were digital collectibles. Now, most people, especially in gaming, when they hear digital collectibles, immediately snap into NFTs. It's not the only thing that NFTs are, but it's certainly one of the things that uh, we highly associate with NFTs, is the digital collectibles. Um, so people started to worry that these PlayStation stars might or might not themselves be um, NFTs, and if not them then some of the rewards might be NFTs. Now, Sony was real quick <laughs> to step on this rumor um, because they know that the term NFT when applied to gaming, for better or worse, is uh, like swearing at somebody's mother. It is so unpleasant in the gaming community. Um, it has changed the course of games when a studio has used the word NFT uh, in, uh, attached to their games. So Sony stepped on the rumors real quick. They said, no, 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 no. These are, quote, definitely not NFTs. Uh, so they are not unique. They are not um, blockchain-based. Both things, NFTs, are required uh, to have. So they're not unique. What they are essentially are badges like we've seen on everything from Foursquare. And, you know, we've seen badges across all kinds of mobile apps and, and gaming, um, except that the badges look like gaming characters instead of looking like a badge. That seems to be... All these things are. They just made the stupid mistake of using the word digital collectibles. Um, and, ooh, did the backlash start quick. Uh, <laughs> obviously, we've talked in the past about, you know, the, the weirdnesses around the reactions to NFTs. There's some places where NFTs in gaming would make sense. It would essentially create a safe contract for transferring resources between people things that already happen but don't happen safely every somebody has to has to take a huge risk that that they trust the other person but either way the idea of digital collectibles themselves is is always the thing that that sets gamers off when it comes to nfts and that's exactly what happened here uh it it was an interesting thing to watch i don't know if you were following on Twitter while I was driving around uh, the country. Not, I was watching the response to it. <laughs> I mean, no, I, I wasn't really following this, but uh, I agree. I just want to say I agree with Bill Gates, who said that NFTs are based on the bigger fool theory. Uh, which, mm -hmm. uh, which, by the way, I'd never heard it before, but it seems self-explanatory. 
that. So yeah, was, yeah, particularly yeah, particularly these NFT digital collectibles, right? These things that are that only exist to exist, right? I think yes, that's the thing that we all so naturally associate with NFTs because we've seen the the smoking ape and whatever other stupid things there are. I don't know if that's what it's called, and I don't care. Uh, but we've all seen these digital collectible NFTs. There are places where we're using the blo- a blockchain technology to guarantee transfer of ownership of things that already exist in a game. Skins, resources, items, weapons, shields, clothing. There are places where that would make sense. Because right now, if you and I, Avram, if we're playing World of Warcraft and we agree that I'm going to sell you gold... Whether or not you're allowed to do it, Activision, don't get on me. That's not what we're talking about. I know it's against the terms of service. But let's say that you and I make that agreement. Offline. Not offline, but off. Wow. The way it works is either you have to give me the money and hope I show up to give you the gold. Or in the game, I hand you the gold and I hope you send me the money. One of us has taken a huge risk. If it was an NFT, we could purchase... You know, we could transfer that ownership through a contract. Great. That's fine. It's not a digital collectible. It's not using resources. It's not all the stupid stuff that these apes and whatever this thing that oh, that Chris Griffin is going to do on TV. I don't know. Isn't this why isn't this why drug dealers bring lots of people with machine guns with them to the to the drug deal? Yes. It's why people have to A year ago, if you were selling, like, a PlayStation online, you'd meet at a police station for safety reasons. Because people were were robbing people of the PlayStations wherever they went. Yeah. I don't know. I just keep thinking maybe it's because maybe it's because I'm I'm talking to Florida, but I just keep thinking about Miami Vice where they would all they would all show up, show up with all the with all the like the guards around them to sure. make the exchange. Um, right. Yeah. It's, it's the, um, it's definitely, it's definitely an issue, right. Is, is an online, like there's no, what are you going to do? Right. Because mm-hmm. if you're giving digital goods, it's not like, um, it's not like having some type of a physical protection is going to help you there. Right. Right. So. Wow. Well. Best case and that's scenario. why you've got to be careful where you buy anything online. True, true. Whether it be, you know, inside of a game or, you know, you're buying a hard drive from XPTNLA3.com. I don't know. Those are just random letters. It probably doesn't exist. I hope not. You know, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> You could just be throwing your credit card number out into a into a digital skimmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got to be careful. Yeah. So, it's I in general the stars are uh meh new feature coming again, exactly the same as as Microsoft Rewards or the Nintendo points except Microsoft Rewards can be on your phone and computer and stuff. But, you know, it's generally, meh. Okay, it's a loyalty program. Great. I can buy stuff in the store with the, with the rewards points. Okay. So, for everybody who panicked about it, meh. It's, it's no different yeah. than, than going to Chipotle and scanning the, the QR code before you buy your burrito. It's not... It's nothing particularly interesting, and certainly um, not the NF the pretty NFT wrapping that people were worried that it was. Now, is Sony working on NFT stuff? Who knows? But apparently, this is not it. <laughs> so, I guess, hooray! Hello, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of F5 Live Refreshing Technology. If you did, please uh, subscribe to the channel down below, and of course, hit the notification bell because we know that subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, If you've got topics that you'd like us to talk about in the future, 
please uh, comment them down below. And if you'd like to not follow us on YouTube, there's lots of ways that you can follow along with our content by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all of the ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.